before we start the video, I just want to let you know that I do have a Patreon, and it's the only way to keep this channel alive. If you want to be a member of my Patreon, it's in the link in the description down below. In order to react to videos like these, since this is a Patreon requested video, I have to let you guys know, you only be a member, you have to be a Hobbit and Hero, or a Hobbit and Protector on my Patreon. This will help this will help you to request for videos in the future, and maybe some artwork. That's all I have to say. I hope you guys get the message, and like I said, if you want to request a video, you got to be a member on my Patreon. That's the only way to, be, to, to do so. And it's, and it's, and it's in the it's link in the description down below. Now, enough of that. Let's get on to the reaction, shall we? And I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, and, and let's get this started. Master Hobbit in here and today I'm back with another reaction video for all of you and today we're doing a reaction video to uh, Poke Pokemon Sword and Shield and the Sword and Shield anime uh, by Zaktoshi. If you haven't checked out the original video in the description down below this is chapter 13 I look forward to see how this goes and yeah this is gonna this chapter 13 chapter 12 he, he has some very fun fun episode there some leg legendary sweet coon showed up out of nowhere which would which it, it is a thing in the game of uh, pokemon sword and shield you can get the legendaries in those little raid battles i like that little give it that he basically did here so make sure to like come subscribe support satoshi's um channel and support the official release i hope you guys enjoy my reaction some more pokemon that being said without further ado let's get on to reaction shall we and three Two, one, go. This is my Sword and Shield anime series. And Alrighty. in this video, we get the return of Lily. That's oh, not all, nice. we also get the introduction of Calyrex. How are these two stories awesome. tied together? Find this out right now and subscribe fun. for more episodes. Okay. Episode 117. The group heads to Freezington and reunites with Peonia. Peony is thrilled to see his oh. daughter again and asks her to join their legendary quest. After hearing about their adventures from Ash, Hop, and Gloria, she reluctantly agrees. Before joining, however, she needs to complete her first task of collecting Galerica twigs for a Galerica wreath. Oh, the wreath is okay. intended for none other than Avery, who plans to evolve his Slowpoke. Him and Gloria get into their usual banter, and then Gloria decides oh, okay. to help him in order to face him in a battle afterwards. After finding the twigs, okay. Peonia creates the wreath, and Avery evolves his Slowpoke into Galarian Slowking. Gloria proposes they have a Dynamax battle. So they locate a nearby den and have a one-on-one -on -one battle between Drizzle and Slowking. Drizzle starts with Water Gun, while Slowking readies its Sludge Wave. Drizzle dodges the attack with oh, Mist so that's how and this continuously works? flips across the battlefield with U-Turn, making it difficult for Slowking to locate it. Eventually, nice. Slowking lands a hit with the Shadow Ball, but Drizzle retaliates with Water Pulse. Oh. Avery unleashes a barrage of Sludge Waves though, nearly defeating Drizzle. Determined to not disappoint Gloria again, Drizzle gathers its strength and evolves into Intellion. Nice. Where he commands it to use his new move Snipe Shot to push back Slowking. She then awesome. Dynamaxes and reveals the G-Max Intellion. Every oh, follows yeah, suit, just, Dynamax I'm ready to Slowking, snipe you from above. An intense exchange of Dynamax moves ensue, culminating in Intellion's devastating G-Max Hydro Snipe, defeating Slowking for the win. Nice. Avery's upset about his loss, but also can't help but be impressed as well. He makes a snarky comment about not using his full power before leaving in embarrassment. The episode ends with the group continuing their travels. Meanwhile, at the same time, the Aether All family right. are making their arrival in the Crown Tundra. Yay, here they are! Episode 118. The group are caught in another space ah, commercials. and are Never having trouble away. with directions. However, Ash sees a silhouette that creates a path oh. of flowers leading them to Freezington. They take shelter and Ash tells everyone about the mysterious Pokemon he saw. Peony believes it could be the King of Bountiful Harvest, so the next day they search around town for hints about the possible legendary. Meanwhile, the Aether family arrives at Freezington as well, hoping to reunite with Mon with the help of Magirna. Back to Ash and the group, although not many people believe in the King of Bountiful Harvest, the group discovers a clue. A man was seen with a mysterious Pokemon on the outskirts of town. They head in that direction and unexpectedly meet the Aether family. Weird, wild Ash introduces his friends to one another. He explains how they're looking for a legendary Pokemon, while Lily explains that they're looking for her father. They then oh, decide yeah. to travel together, as there might be a connection between their goals. They eventually reach a cabin and find a man. It's Mon. The Aether family are overwhelmed with joy and run in for a hug. However, something's wrong. Mon doesn't recognize them. The Aether family oh, yeah, is now this confused happened in the episode in the anime. Mon has in the no real idea anime. what's going on, but still invites them Pokemon into his journeys. cabin in order to help. 
They explain the situation to him, but Mon believes that they've mistaken him for someone else. He has no memory of his family. Just then, Ash spots a Pokemon outside the window that matches the silhouette of the one who saved them. He believes that this is the King of Bountiful Harvest. Mon introduced the Pokemon as Calyrex. He doesn't quite remember oh, how they met, different. but they've been friends for as long as he can remember. Suddenly, Calyrex possesses Mon to communicate with everyone, and reveals that he is in fact the King of Bountiful Harvest. Over time, humans stop believing in him, causing him to lose his powers. However, thanks to Ash and Peony believing in him, he's regained some of his strength, which is why he can communicate with them right now. He explains how he that met Mon true. after he fell from an Ultra Wormhole and was being attacked by Annihiligo. Using the little power he had, Calyrex saved oh. Mon, and they've been friends ever since. However, Mon has no memory from before the Ultra Wormhole incident. The Aether family thanks Calyrex for protecting Mon, but remains saddened by his memory loss. Calyrex offers good news, however. He can restore Mon's memory once he regains his full power. Okay. Episode 119. Calyrex seeks to regain its Calyrex full power, is a but Pokemon needs to who can with communicate with humans. Glastrier he sees himself as the king of Pokemon. To attract them, he must grow their favorite food, special carrots only he can produce. Lily manages to obtain carrot seeds, and together they plant the first one. Calyrex does a little dance, and the ice root carrot emerges. Ash, Hawk, right. Gladion, and Peony stay behind to watch for Glastrier, while Gloria, Lily, and Lusamine continue with Calyrex and Mon to plant the shade root carrot. Peony right. joins them as well to avoid being with Peony. Oh, As they continue yeah. their journey, Lily curiously asks Peonia about her feelings towards her father. Peonia opens up, describing Peony as overbearing, which annoys and overwhelms her. Lily chuckles and suggests that he doesn't seem all that bad. She expresses her own longing for those experiences, oh, and she missed them yeah, with her own scene. father since she was only a baby when he disappeared. That's why she's that determined to restore his memories, and pledges to do everything in her power to do so. Peonia is moved by Lily's words leading her to recognize her own ungratefulness towards her own father. Yeah, not to appreciate- I never understand- the shade root carrot, certain shows, the legendary they have their daughters or child- dis Calyrex is not strong like enough to tame it on its own though, and Spectrier flees. Calyrex asks the girls to help him to stop Spectrier, as it's a danger to Freezington. Lusamine stays behind with Mon, who is unaware of the situation. In the town, Gloria comes up with a plan to corner Spectrier, using Intellion as a sniper to limit its movements. They find Spectrier, oh, nice. and the tough battle begins. Spectrier gives Lily a hard time, but Peonia supports her, and they fight together. The battle is coming down to the wire, so Gloria calls down Intellion and uses Snipe Very Shot, powerful while Pokemon. Snowy uses Hail. Spectrior retaliates with Shadow Ball, but Peonia's Tyrantrum counters with Stone Edge. Lily then protects the team with Aurora Veil. Spectrior attempts to use Phantom Force, but Tyrantrum lands crush. I give it that. Snowy's Aurora Beam weakens Spectrior further, and then Intellion uses Mist to hide everyone. Tyrantrum successfully lands a powerful Dragon Claw, knocking down Spectrier. And just before it can escape with Phantom Force, Gloria launches an Ultra Ball with Intellion Snipe Shot, capturing Spectrier. Nice. Gloria's first legendary Pokemon. Gloria catches a Episode 120. After capturing Spectrier, Gloria offers it to Calyrex to help it power up. However, Calyrex cannot fully tame Spectrier without the Reins of Unity, which are made by weaving Spectrier's mane and a special petal from Calyrex. Luckily, Peonia has just the weaving skills needed, so she gets to work on making them. What Meanwhile, a coincidence. Meanwhile, the guys continue their wait, Ash and Gladion catch up on their travels, and eventually, Glastrier appears. Pikachu tries to trap it with Electroweb, but Glastrier dodges and flees. Yeah, without losing track of it, Ash sends Corviknight to follow. Yeah. Glastrier eventually reaches the Crown Shrine to rest, and with Corviknight's help, the boys locate it and corner it into a battle. Glastrier uses Icicle Crash, attacking everyone but Pikachu, who dodges and retaliates with Thunderbolt. Yeah, Pikachu's Pops very fast. With the Zen Headbutt, aiming for Glastrier's head. However, Glastrier withstands the hit and counters with a powerful Blizzard. He took it like Gladion a champ. Turns Silvella into a Steel type and then strikes with Multi Attack. Ooh, I, re I remember that. He can Peony's turn it. Different, joins different, the fray, different using Pokemon Stone types to hit Glastrier. Glastrier then responds with Thrash, attacking everyone around it. Ash quickly commands Yikes. Pikachu to use Electro Web, trapping Glastrier. Hop and Gladion take advantage of the opening and use a combined Reversal and Crush Claw attack, hitting it with incredible force. However, Glastrier is not done yet. It breaks free from Electro Web so and I'm done with this mess. hitting them both hard. Peony Zagron takes this chance to strike with Crunch. The battle rages on with each side exchanging powerful blows, but in the end, Glastrier's immense strength and icy powers prove to be too formidable. Once again, in anime, legendary Pokemons are, are near impossible to beat and impossible to catch, unless you're gone. But just then, Calyrex appears, using the Reigns of Unity to command Spectrier, and defeats Glastrier with a powerful Astral Barrage. 
Shortly after, oh, wow. the girls arrive, and Lily and Gloria help heal Glastrier. Once it regains its strength, Calyrex will use its reins on it as well to reach its full power and restore Mon's memories. Meanwhile, back at Hammerlock, Rose and Oleana finally begin their experiments with the Eternatus Meteorite Wishing Star. Oh yeah, I forgot about the this The immense part. power triggers a different reaction this time, causing power spots all across the Galar region to erupt with Dynamax energy. Back at the Crown Shrine, Glastrier is all healed up, and just before Calyrex can unite with it, he stops and senses that the Crown Tundra is in danger. The effects of Rose's experiments have oh, even no. reached here, causing a wild Regigigas to go on a Dynamax rampage. Oh, that's terrifying. Episode 121. In the midst of the chaos caused by Dynamax Regigigas, Glastrier panics and flees, leaving Calyrex to call upon everyone's help once again. Regigigas is trampling everything in its path and is moving towards Freezing Tin, where Lusamine and Mon are at. Their lives along with everyone else in town is in danger, so the group must prevent Regigigas from reaching there. Calyrex apologizes to Lily and Gladian and vows to protect their family. Gladian right. is angry and wants to head to Freezing Tin, but Lily persuades him telling him that they won't make it in time and should focus on stopping Regigigas first. Together, they head towards the towering threat, with Ash and Gloria arriving first thanks to their flying Pokemon. Pikachu tries to strike with a powerful Thunderbolt, but the Regigigas is unfazed and counters with Max Strike. Gloria decides to Gigantamax her Eevee to even the odds, while Ash continues attacking from above. However, Regigigas proves to be too formidable, shrugging off their assault and retaliating with powerful Max moves. Eevee is defeated, and now Gloria is about to be hit by a Max Quake but Hop's Dynamax Surfetch shields her. With Hop's team on the offensive, Ash swoops in to rescue Gloria and regroup with the others. Oh, wow. They eventually come up with a plan. Ash sends no, Lilibu to Urshifu I'm, I'm along with Gladion to Valai and guys. Pianis Kaparaja to Time grab Regigigas' legs while this the rest try to really rock cool. it down with their attacks. It would be fun to see Hop's if it was Surfetch animated, defeated, but so this is the closest we can get. So Pianis Dynamax and to continue their assault. The Dynamax Pokemon trade blows, but Regigigas shows its dominance by easily crushing it with Max Rockfall. Peony protects Peonia from continents. the debris, but gets knocked out as a result. Regigigas then uses Max Quake Regigigas to wipe is, everyone out. Is broken. Peonia decides to stay behind to protect her injured father, so now Ash is leading the charge. All right. He decides to take Regigigas head on by Gigantamaxing his Rillaboom, and uses G-Max Drum Solo to hold it back. Meanwhile, Calyrex eventually finds Glastrier, and uses its reins to fully sync itself with both steeds. Calyrex is now at full power and even gains extra sight through Glastrier and Spectrum. Oh, nice. Back in the battle, Regigigas is almost approaching Mon's cabin. So you can't do that in the game. to use their Z-moves as a last resort. Games, you Snowy see, uses video games always Slammer, limit you. And Lycanroc uses Devastating Drake. The oh, combined animation. combined Z-moves along with Magirna's Floor Cannon is enough to knock Regigigas down. And nice. the group all celebrate. Great it wasn't work. enough to defeat it, though. I Regigigas wipes yet. everyone out with Max Quake, with Ash as the last one standing. With all of its might, Pikachu counters Max Strike with Thunderbolt, and he even erupts in a powerful aura. But it's still not enough, and they're shot out of the sky. Calyrex oh, intervenes, however, and uses hurts. its psychic powers to rescue Ash and transport everyone safely. As a former king of Galar, Calyrex refuses to let Regigigas bring further harm to the region. Calyrex then gathers energy and Dynamaxes itself to use Max Overgrowth. Regigigas counters with Max Mindstorm, but Calyrex is his stronger. Regigigas tries Max Knuckle, but Spectre blocks it. Tyrantrum and Kaparaja then appear from behind, so the steeds push Regigigas back, tripping it over. Calyrex then uses that chance to defeat Regigigas with a Max Hailstorm. Regigigas then goes back to normal and retreats into the mountains. The group reunites with Mon and Lusamine. Calyrex then restores Mon's memories using its psychic powers. Mon's memories Yay, come flooding back ending. in, and he apologizes for worrying his family. They're just happy to finally have him back and they share a heartwarming hug. Peonia uses this chance I to reconcile with her father and decides she wants to go on a journey with him, which makes Peony cry tears of joy. Aww. Mon thanks Calyrex, while Calyrex thanks Mon for their friendship. That's and adorable. now with its powers restored, Calyrex will go back to protecting the Crown Tundra. The episode ends with the Aether family returning to Alola, Peony and Peonia embarking on a new adventure, and Ash, Hop, and Gloria preparing to depart for the Galar League. Let's do this. Meanwhile, back at Hammerlock, Rose is elated. The meteorite wishing stars proved to be more effective than he anticipated, meaning it is almost time to unleash the darkest day. Oh, here we go. You know, that was um, Pokemon Sword and Shield, if it was an anime by Satoshi. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. What were your thoughts on this, on this video? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, take care. Have a great day.
be safe, and most importantly, stay frosty and stay healthy out there. Catch you all later, and make sure to wash your hands. I'll see you guys in future videos. Bye-bye. Good for Happy Gilmore, oh my god!